Greetings, y'all. Derek DeBras, Ohio Gun Lawyer, coming to you. Munitionsgroup.com, munitionsgroup.com is where you can find us. We do anything regarding firearms. Look us up if you need us. We're looking forward to hearing from you guys. Today's question comes from Bishop. It says, I enjoyed your video on pink guns. I want to just take a minute and thank you for that, Bishop. That video astounded us on how viral it went. I think three or 400,000 views. It's great. You know, keep, keep it coming. Keep sending these videos out. We need more followers, more viewers to get this information out to the masses. So thank you, Bishop, for that. But it raised a question for me when you discussed ammo. At what point does it become an issue to have too much ammo? I carry a subcompact. I also carry uh, two additional 13-round mags and an OWB carrier. How would you defend that in a shooting would be an issue? I don't think it's an issue, to be quite frank with you. It's standard operating procedure to have extra magazines. Um, a picture of that versus a picture of you looking like Rambo, I think that would be more like a pink gun issue. You know, if you look like Rambo, the jury sees pictures of that, that could become a problem, right? Even if the prosecutor can't point to it and draw attention to it because of relevancy arguments or whatever it might be from your defense attorney, the jury could still see it. Uh, however, having two extra magazines is easily explainable. Uh, I, if I were to defend you, depending on the circumstances, may call an expert witness, some sort of instructor or expert shooter about carrying extra mags and the system you were carrying and all that and how it's standard operating procedure to do that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, there's no black and white answer to that, but Bishop, I hope I helped, gave you a little bit of clarity. We appreciate your support. And as always, remember to be safe and carry on.